This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot Reading for Libra for the month of August 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the coming month? Six of Wands. The Empress. And the Two of Swords. You definitely don't see something coming. It's like you're confused about somebody. You've put in a lot of effort here for this person. And it hasn't been returned to you. It's like they've, it's like you feel you've been taken for granted. And they're, they're feeling victorious with this attention that you gave to them. With whatever you showed them. Right now, you're, you're totally confused. You're not seeing anything in return. This person is feeling good about whatever you gave them. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Queen of Wands. Ooh, very good looking person. Very good looking. Empress, Queen of Wands. A lot of attraction here for this person. And the Seven of Cups. You may not see this, but this person sees a burst of opportunities with you. It's like there's something opening up here. Feelings. This is a very attractive person. They could be a fire sign, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's like there's some intuitive feelings for you. They see you as a victory, though you're blind to this. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see if they shed some light. What makes your love interest question this connection? I don't see them questioning it, but let's ask that. That's what came up. Five of Cups. Ace of Wands. And the Six of Swords. This person isn't sure if you're going to stick around. Like they, they think that perhaps this is a momentary burst of interest that you have in them. That it's something that's not for the long run. They're not convinced that, that you, you really want them. There's, there's some sort of pain this person is associating your connection to. Something that happened to them that you may not be aware of, but this person has seen some pain. Let's clarify this Five of Cups. For them, Nine of Wands. They made a lot of sacrifices for somebody before and they They came out hurt. For you? Metamorphosis. Perhaps this is leading to, to, sorry, to the Seven of Cups energy. Like they're seeing some sort of opportunity with you. They're focusing on you. They're going through a metamorphosis, leaving this this pain behind. Hmm. 
but but what's making them question this connection is if you'll stick around or if it's just a momentary interest from you. Will the love interest contact you in the next month? The Fool card. That surprised me. Whoa. Page of Swords. That was under the Page of Pentacles. So clearly they're... They're coming to you. And it's not the most mature, thought-out plan. The Lovers. Yeah, they're, they're going to contact you in the next month. They don't know exactly what they're going to say to you. But they, they, want, they want to start a relationship with you here. The lovers is soulmate energy. It's an intense mutual attraction. So as much as you think this person is absolutely gorgeous, they view you like that too. They're going to be taking a leap of faith. There is a metamorphosis taking place. So even though they're, they've been hurt, that they're still capable of taking a leap of faith, putting their trust into, into someone. That's what's involved with, with the fool card. It's like they have to hand over their ability to trust in somebody else, somebody that will look out for their best interest. And the Page of Swords is sincerity, so there's no hidden motives. This person will be coming to you very sincere. It's like they want to know if you're sincere as well. Let's clarify the Page of Swords for them. Spirituality for you. Order. Yeah, before before you should do anything else, it's like you have to you have to give this person their time to make this decision on their own. You've done enough. You've given it en enough to them. They they feel like a winner. They feel good about what you what you gave them. You may not see it. They're definitely feeling empowered. There is a spiritual knowing, like this intuitive knowing that's pushing them to take this leap of faith. They see something in you. Soulmate energy. What does the love interest find most attractive about you? These are all random generated, so I don't even look at them. I just press the button. But that's the perfect question. What does the love interest find most attractive about you? Two of Cups. The bottom card one. Ace of Cups. This card's sticking out. Queen of Cups. You... You are absolutely vulnerable to this person. That is what's creating this start in love. This person has been looking for someone that they can trust, someone that they can be a partner with, someone that will be more than just a lover, will be a best friend, you know, someone that they can communicate with. They see you as, as overflowing with love. The way you touch this person is, is greater than you even know. Your heart is the most attractive thing about you. And that's what this person loves. That's why they're going to be able to trust you. I'm curious what you showed them here. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. For them, contradictions. For you, you have, for you, the hermit. It's like on some level you may be aware 
of what you showed this person that, that really established this heart energy of yours, that really clarified it to, to them. But it's not what you think. The contradiction here may be that, that you, you don't think this person likes you at all. It's almost like something through the wisdom you shared with them, something that that was an enlightenment to this person. You may not even know exactly what it was, but there was something there that that triggered this. <laughs> In the extended, Actually, let's ask one more question before we get to the extended. What initiative will this love interest take towards you? Because that is a good question. What initiative? A long-term investment. This person is serious. Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. That card kind of acted funny, so I picked it right away. They're coming to you with a blessing. It's a new portal opening into a new life. You don't see this coming. This is going to be a surprise to you. But it's a long-term investment. Perhaps you're not thinking that this is a possibility with this person. But it's coming out of nowhere. This is going to be a long-term investment here. This is the perfect approach. Whatever it is, it's, it's going to be perfect for you. It's exactly what you want. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords energy. For them, equilibrium. For you, goodness. So that they're coming in to, to give back to you what you gave them. What you may have thought you lost on them. They're coming in to give that back. To be good towards you. They may not have figured out exactly how they're going to do this yet. Because they're, they're still that state of analyzing everything like there, there's so many things that's almost like analysis paralysis but when they figure it out this is what they want to show you it's long-term investment something that that it's like an offer you can't refuse in the extended we'll look into what secret came between you in the past it could be something to do with this person's hurt what surprises lay in store for you this week? What do you need to watch out for at this time, in this next month? And we'll ask, how should you handle this love interest when they reappear? It's like the computer knows what questions to ask. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices this month. Much love.